my name is TJ Welch, and this is local Boston rock and roll television. This is Sonic Lobotomy. This is episode 52, and we've been doing this for about eight years, spotlighting a lot of the original local talented bands in New England mostly. Occasionally we get a band from out of state, you know, and, but most of it's local rock and roll because the best rock and roll is homegrown right here in New England. And today we have, uh, for episode 52, we have a special guest that's traveled from the western regions of the state, from Northampton, Massachusetts, home of uh, UMass Amherst, that whole area, really hip area. Uh, this band is, uh, is just, just a great band, and, and I appreciate them traveling way, way over here to Danvers, Massachusetts to do this show. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Rusty Curtain. Oh, 
Spring Race. It's called me.
Thank you, guys. Great show, guys. Thanks for making the trip all, all the way here to Danvers, Mass. From Western Mass is, what, two hours or something? Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. It was a great time. Great performance. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks I, a lot. I had a lot it. of fun. Um, yeah, great time. Rusty Curtains. I, I knew a kid named Rusty Curtains <laughs> in uh, grade school. <laughs> yeah, I did too. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you about the name. But, yeah, that's good. <laughs> but, uh, Urban Dictionary will take care of yeah, that for you. Yeah, Google it yeah. and you'll figure it yeah, out. There you go. That works. Yeah, but you guys, uh, how long have you been together? Um, Casey oh, and I started a uh, band in Albuquerque in um, 2009. 2009. Uh, we moved out here about uh, 2010 ish. ish. Uh, found Spike not too long after that. Um, so we've been about, I'd say, a solid two years. We've cool. been cool. doing our thing, yeah. having a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, I can hear New Mexico yeah. in your sound. I hear a lot of uh, you know, the old country and western. Yep. Uh, yep. The Hank Williams, the Hurt. You yep. know. In yep. fact, you did a Hank Williams song, didn't we did. you? Yeah. yeah, we did. Um, Treat Heart? Treat Heart, yeah. We, uh, we have ever uh, classified, I guess, ourselves as uh, honky-tonk punk. Yeah. Seems to um, kind of embody it all. Nice. Uh, somewhat. But yeah, we had a lot of Southwest influence, I think, is is key. It's in your in blood. Our sound. Yeah, that's right. It's in your blood. Yeah, cool. we definitely grew up listening to things that sounded kind of like that, and this is kind of the attitude of, uh, you know, we're from New Mexico originally, so it's like kind of how we do. How does the scene in Massachusetts, specifically in, in Western Mass, where you're from, Northampton, U UMass area, how does that compare to uh, Albuquerque as far as music and, and whatnot? Um, you know, we had a nice little kind of like uh, clicky environment in Albuquerque. Rockabilly kids, car club kids, um, all of that was going on here in Western Mass. Um, it's more like it's kind of everybody kind of goes out and listens to live music. Yeah. So we don't really have that kind of uh, clicky following. We have more just kind of a general uh, people looking for a good time, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. You're centrally located where you can play Boston and New York, too, so you must you do much time traveling around the gigs and whatnot. We played in New York, uh, Manhattan, and Brooklyn some, definitely. Yeah. We, we haven't played Boston any. No, that's just something that's our that... next. Yes, well, we can uh, change that. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. Hooked up yeah. You guys should yeah. play the Midway. That's a real good that's club. That's in JP. J JP, it's yeah. a great club. Yeah, so, no. you know, email me or Facebook me. We'll figure out a way to get you at the Midway. Oh, yeah. We uh, love that. We yeah. love that. We're People right. eat you up. Great. Uh, nice. <laughs> yes. In a good way, I hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're lucky. Yeah. But, uh, no, that'd be great. We'll play. We're, we'll play anywhere, anytime. Now, We're do you want... Do you have any recordings? Uh, any if 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 I want to hear Rusty Curtains, where do I go? You go to Facebook. Yeah. Uh, you go to Reverb Nation. You go to Bandcamp. Um, Facebook will give you a link to all of those things. So Facebook.com. Got Rusty Curtains. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. You can. Um, we have a, an older recording that uh, you know is a few years older Our now. Our former drummer. Former drummer, that kind of thing. Not We're actually this Not this guy. Yeah. We're actually working, uh, trying to get something going on, you know. Yeah. So, something new with our new... Because definitely with Spike, it's a different sound. We got a different... Um, thing going on, and so we're really excited about it. You get the Massachusetts beat now. Oh, yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah. Old it's, it's, yeah, so good. Well, New Jersey beat. Well, it was, New yeah, Jersey? It was born in New Jersey. What part of Jersey? Montclair. Montclair, all right. So north, uh... Which exit? 151. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really propelled the band. You did a good job. So okay. yeah. you. Spike, and, and introduce uh, the other two ladies here. Well, okay. this here's Casey. Yeah. This is Tony. All right. Uh, yeah. And we are... Rusty Kurt. Good, good. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having us. We had a great time. Thanks yeah. for your Creature Machine for getting us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Contact with you and like getting this going. And it's really nice to meet other bands and like have a little sense of community. It's That's really what good. it's all about. It's a scene, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you have any plans to go in and record some of your new stuff? Working on it. Yeah. Working on it, you know. Trying Cost to get money. something out this Trying train, to figure something hopefully. out. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. been talking to someone in the machine who actually yeah. uh, who who may want to give us a, a recording or two so uh, we'll see we'll see how that goes and where are the songs coming from how do you write them oh they come from a lot of places they come from good times they come from yeah. uh, 
just good ideas of, of things that we do. Casey writes songs, I write songs, um, my old drummer wrote some songs. You know, we're getting, getting with Spike trying to figure out some new stuff, but, you know, come, just, yeah. Just life, frustration, yeah. and yeah. women, and booze, and, and, and working class, and... <laughs> Gotta write what you know about. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, good, good times and whiskey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, what, what gets you through life. Yeah, right, right, right. right, right. How about that amp you were playing? That thing is oh, wild yeah. for a little, little <laughs> yeah. amp at Lunchbox. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. I, I bring it yeah. up and I pull it out of my bag and yeah. I put it down and people uh, always, sound guys are always like, what you got there? Like, <laughs> it's really loud. And they're like, yeah, I don't know about that. And by the time the show's over, like, what is that thing? That, <laughs> that thing's so loud. And it is, it's just this little 200 watt. Tiny. 200 watt in 200 a lunchbox size. In a lunchbox yeah. size, uh, made by Vox, I believe. Yeah. Nice. Really? Yeah, I love it. I yeah. love it so I much. I was surprised, you know, because I've, I've had a lot of amps come in and out of Sonic Lobotomy over the years. And, and I took a look at it and I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to sound like a toy. Yeah. And then I mic'd it up and I'm like, wow, it's, it's pretty good. It holds <laughs> yeah. its own. Oh, man, it yeah. does everything I needed to. That's yeah. that's a good one. That's good. Yeah. That's good. What about some of your other influences beyond, you know, the song you covered, you know, and what other bands uh, turn you on? You know, what, what new bands you like? You know, what, oh, what? new bands. I wish I could, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't really listen to music the way I should. Yeah. Um, I don't know about anybody else, if anybody's listened to a lot, you know, we're, we always stick with, like, the classics, like Rancid and Green Day, just to kind of, like, yeah, just to listen to and make your day better. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of old country. Yeah. Um, Merle Haggard, that kind of stuff, just down and out type things. Are you listening to anything new these days? I've been listening to a lot of uh, Lake Street Dive. They're, they they came out of Brooklyn. They're in Brooklyn right now, uh, and it's a it's a four piece drums, trumpet, bass, and vocals. Um, and they're just tight, tight all across the board. Um, nice playing a lot of soulful tunes with sort of a new twist. They cover a lot. They write a lot of originals. Um, you know, I, I trained as a jazz drummer when I was growing up, and I played in um, classical orchestras and things, so I really like that clean sound, but playing with these guys has brought out like this... Yeah. <laughs> dirty, but you hit a little hard enough. Yeah, 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 this yeah. dirty mess, which is like, which is, I would say that from my perspective, not from these guys, but you know, which is which is fun. It sort of revealed a new side of my playing. Um, I've been listening to uh, Sally Ford, though they just broke up. They're done. So, right. <laughs> right on time. No. Yeah, you started right. listening to them. You broke right. up. That's right. They, but. Um, and then there's some there's some bands in Northampton that we've that we've kind of hooked up with. Yeah, you want to give a shout out to any local bands? Well, well Creature Machine. Yeah, Creature Machine. I mean, I really yeah. dig these guys. They're a lot of fun. Um, we're playing a show coming up. Uh, I guess I don't know when this airs, but uh, with uh, Reverend Dan and Dirty Catechism. They're really cool. They're really really cool. Um, a biter. A biter. A biter. Amazing. A biter, yeah. yeah. They're, they're a lot so of fun. So much energy. you got to yeah. get them on my show if you know oh, them. Oh, yeah, I do. I work, with that, I work with that kid. Good. Yeah. So uh, we'll definitely get him, send him your way. Yeah. Well, I think um, in general, too, the Northampton scene has been very, you know, we actually played our first couple shows in, in Manhattan. We, we didn't get any shows in mm -hmm. Northampton right away. Yeah. Uh, they refused. <laughs> like, yeah. who are you bitches from uh, New Mexico? Yeah. We want none of you. We're, like, We're really good, I promise. <laughs> so we had to play in Manhattan for a while until they accepted the fact that we were actually a, a real band. And then they were like, oh, okay, I guess yeah, you guys a are working okay. band. Yeah. You, you play in Manhattan, I guess. We'll, we'll tolerate you for a while. Right. And, <laughs> yes. So we played with Howling. In, uh, oh, yeah. They're from Jersey. Howling, definitely. Yep. They're an awesome in Brooklyn. Band. Yep. Yeah, they are an awesome band. Yeah. Any of the classic uh, Western Mass bands still hanging out, like Jay Maskus, uh, still around out there, or Pixies are from out there originally, right? Yeah, something well, like that. I think they just played in Northampton too. Deep wound. Yep. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not sure what. There's what so many new bands. Probably, there's you know? so many bands so in Northampton, like, and there's a show all the time that's always good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's a great record label, Signature Sounds, is out of Northampton, yeah. and they have an awesome. Um, Called the parlor room, and it's this small, intimate space, and they host um, folks on their label, and then folks who are not on their label, but put these groups together. And just in general, I think the people there really just want to hear good music and come out for it and show up for it. 
Yeah. Which is nice. Um, I think. Of Play with. What's the big with club out there? Pearls. Pearl, Pearl Street's, Street's the big, big one, but Calvin's the biggest. Calvin yeah. is the biggest, but I mean, we. we you got a. It's like <laughs> thirty thousand people. Yeah, yeah. That's too many. Cal That's too Calvin's many. Calvin's, Calvin's the biggest. Pearl Street. Lemons and JJ's and um, JJ's Sierra and Florence. Um, Sierra <laughs> Grill has treated us really, really well, and yeah. so has the Elevens. Um, I'm just trying. So the Iron Horse, the basement. Iron Horse, the basement. Um, Bishops, I guess, does stuff. Bishops is great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and it's you know, there's there's environments that are suitable for, um, you know, a guitar, an upright bass, a piano. Um, yeah. But for the three of us, we really kind of need a place where we don't have to worry that we're gonna yeah blow somebody out of the water. <laughs> that, yeah. Like we turn on the music and the bar empties out. You know. Right. So so we have to kind of pick the venues that can that can hold that sound. Yeah. Um, and, and then after that, the ones who want us. And then the ones who want us, right, right. First we try, we try, First, yeah. we hope they invite us back. You can invite it back, you do no, it. Yeah. We've yeah. gotten a really good response, though. We've been surprised because coming from New Mexico, we, you know, they, oh, yeah. they loved us out there because we re we fit really well into the rockabilly group, but we weren't sure coming here how we would fit in, and people have responded really well and they've been really open mm -hmm. and, and, and warm yeah. to us. And, Definitely. Um, so we've been really lucky. So we haven't played a show where people are like, ooh, maybe you shouldn't come yeah. back. So. Yeah, please don't ever come back. <laughs> no, no, we've been, so it's been, it's been really great. And you found, you know, you don't regret moving here? You, you, you no. moved here for music primarily, right? Um, <laughs> no. no, actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm in grad school, ah, okay. so we, we moved yeah. here for that. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah we're, we're just fortunate to, yeah. I mean, one of the reasons we, I chose the school is because of um, the the area. We needed to be somewhere where I was, where we were around other cities and we had places to go and play music. I yeah. didn't want to be it's a big isolated. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. So, um, we got lucky. It also, yeah, it also helps. Um, but Casey's my wife. I am Casey's wife as well. <laughs> On the other side of that. We've been married a little over a year, I guess a year and a half, closer now. Alright. Give or take. But, um, you know, so that was also really important. Uh, we came out here in, um, you know, it's Massachusetts. Yeah, we're, we're in an uh, accepting you know, yeah. state. It's Lib not, liberal not like state, um, yeah. liberal area. We, we got, you know, the coast. And Mexico's a liberal state as well, oh, but okay. and in the middle of um, conservative states. Yeah. So it's a lot going on. So we, we found a home here, which is, which is pretty awesome. Um, and and more than that, you're playing in a band with your spouse, and you make oh, it work. Right, <laughs> it's a blast. You know, it's a blast. That's actually when we when we started dating. Um, I had just moved back. I, I lived in New York City for a while, and um, I had just gotten back and met Casey. And we started dating, and I was ready to start a band. And I didn't have. I needed a reliable bass player because they're hard to find. Yeah. I've had bass players all over the place who want to play here and they're playing in five bands and they're doing their yeah. thing and they're all over. <laughs> so I needed someone who was around. So this one had played cello um, growing, up. growing up and trumpet and stuff. And, um, and I was like, oh, great. So Learn you're a bass. bass player. <laughs> and this is how you play bass. Yeah. And now we're starting a band. <laughs> well, she sounded like a natural fit. You know? Yeah. Thank you. All three is really... Uh, you bought it tonight. Thank thanks. you for uh, playing my show. Hey, thanks so much for having us. Thank I you. really appreciate it. Yeah, my thanks pleasure. Thanks for having us here. It was a great time. I wish you good luck uh, in, in your upcoming recordings and your your, your shows. And uh, talk to me offline about uh, playing in Boston. I'll try to help you out. Oh man, we'd love that. Yeah, man. you deserve really to play some shows that. in Boston. I think you'd you'd really certain crowds in Boston would love you. Cool. <laughs> you. I love that. Yeah. Thank you. We'll That's send awesome. some Northampton people your way. Put yeah. On your show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, there's a lot of talent out there. Yeah, I know yeah. you got to take a day off to come and do my show, basically. Right. But yeah. Was it worth it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. It was, right. a, it was a great one. I should have taken today off. Yeah, oh, right. Tony, Tony and I worked today. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Hey, thanks so much, yep. Thank man. you very yep. much. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. One, two, three, four.